Do you want to stop being afraid? This is how you do it. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrud. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, there's a lot of people that are afraid. I hear it regularly. They're afraid of what's coming on the earth. They're afraid. Luke chapter 21 and verse 26 men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth so they're looking after the things on the earth and it's scaring them and they don't really know what's coming on the earth but they're being told certain things by certain people and it is causing listen it's causing fear to be in them it's like a dread mm -hmm. comes over them so you must see look at believe and embrace something new and different there are those who would lord over you in a reign of fear your first job listen your first job is to remove yourself from it mm. stop watching the news <laughs> they're fear mongers for profit and there's no good in them it's their job to create fear in you so you keep coming back for another dose mm -hmm. I'm reminded of the story of Lester Sumrov you heard of him well he was good friends with the late great Smith Wigglesworth who was known to be a great man of faith and he would go over to his house and oftentimes he would bring a newspaper with him wrapped up under his under his arm and he'd knock on the door and Smith Wigglesworth would answer the door and Lester would say may I come in and Smith Wigglesworth would say to him not with that you don't mm -hmm. he wouldn't even let it in his house he said there's no faith in it say there's no faith in it there's no faith in it if you're regularly watching the news you are letting them feed you with fear on a daily basis and then you wonder why you're afraid you need to shut those sources that are creating fear off you have to recognize them first and then shut them off mm -hmm. that would solve the problem for 90 percent of the people already mm -hmm. you number one you shut them off and then you can feed on something different jesus said in john 14 1 don't let your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid meaning you have a choice to either let it or not let it and if you just let it be here it says it will be afraid mm -hmm. so you can't just let it right. and you have something to do with it say i have something, I have something to, do with, to do, with do with it now how many times have you heard that the bible says fear not mm -hmm. you know it says that over and over fear not you cut it off you see the fear and you go not for me yeah. you hear the fear and you say not fear not is not the absence of fear fear not is the presence of something else a thing called faith I believe something else I don't believe the fear I don't believe the evil report the Bible calls it that mm -hmm. an evil report mm -hmm. you can literally call it an evil report and you shouldn't believe it mm -hmm. I can't just not believe it I have to
cut myself off from it and I have to actively believe something else something different are you here yes if you want to get rid of the fear I believe something else I believe the good news so what do we believe but we're, we're dealing with people who have issues with fear they wake up in the morning and they're afraid mm -hmm. and they turn on the news and that didn't help yeah. and they go about their business and they talk with all their people that they know and they're all afraid and they are all regurgitating the same lies and evil report then they come home and they hear the same thing again except it's worse now mm -hmm. okay brother you you told us what not to believe mm -hmm. what do we believe Isaiah chapter 40 verse 13 who has directed the Spirit of the Lord or literally the Spirit Lord or being his counselor hath taught him the answer is obviously no one mm -hmm. verse 14 with whom took he counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment and taught him knowledge and showed to him the way of understanding no one verse 15 behold are you here you, you gonna you gonna believe this or not mm -hmm. Bible right mm -hmm. verse 15 behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket say a drop of a bucket, drop of a bucket. what does that mean very it's very small you know you'd have to really examine that bucket to see if there's a drop in there right mm -hmm. insignificant behold the nations say nations, nations. What, what is that like just what your nation or all the nations say all the nations, all the nations behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance what does that mean small dust of the balance do you worry about the dust on the balance it's no. insignificant it has no effect on the outcome of the scale say it has no effect, has no effect. on the outcome, the outcome of the scale and he takes up the aisles as a very little thing verse 17 all nations you still here mm -hmm. all nations before him are as what's that word nothing. nothing and they are counted to him as less than nothing you've got nothing then you've got less than nothing you know less is less than no, nothing means is as if it didn't even exist mm. so the nations are less than nothing and vanity to whom then will you liken God or to what likeness will you compare unto him what are we to believe this this is not the evening news this is believing something way different and if he considers the nations as nothing and less than nothing a drop of a bucket or the dust of a scale insignificant then all of these voices that perpetuate the propaganda of those nations mm -hmm. are equally nothing and less than nothing are you getting this so you're afraid of nothing is this true mm -hmm. you're afraid of less than nothing everything they say this is fun I'm enjoying it now everything they say is completely irrelevant in light of this yes. should I be afraid yeah. they get on and they say they talk about economic collapse the coming economic collapse and yet I see because of the one that I believe and am standing with I see prosperity say I see, I see prosperity. prosperity they talk 
economic collapse I see great prosperity why am I seeing prosperity when they're saying the complete opposite is going on because I'm not listening to them and I'm walking with the one who is greater than all of those things yes. they talk continually about a new virus don't they new virus coming you know what I see complete healing and health mm -hmm. if I'm walking in complete healing and health the new virus that they talk about or are threatening or trying to generate fear and control over you with is insignificant it's like dust on a balance it doesn't affect the scale That's right. for me is this funny so what do we believe mm -hmm. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 have I not commanded thee be strong and of a good courage and be not afraid mm -hmm. he commanded you to not be afraid neither be thou dismayed for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest he's saying be not afraid he commands you yeah. say he commands, me. he commands me well now what is a command it came out of his mouth as a word mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. and therefore in that word listen in that word is the fear not in that word is the thing that causes you to not be afraid say in the word is what causes me to not be afraid what are you supposed to believe that Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law or meaning his word shall not depart out of thy mouth if it doesn't leave your mouth where is it it's in your mouth this book of the law shall be in your mouth thou shalt meditate therein the word meditate literally means to mutter to say it to say it mm -hmm. to say it under your breath to say it out loud mm -hmm. thou shalt mutter it day and night when's that mm -hmm. all the time when you get up you start muttering the word and all the time when you till you go to bed obviously you can't do it when you're sleeping but you can do it at the night time that's when the Sun goes down you, you getting this mm -hmm. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success are you scared of that mm. you scared of prosperity and success if you put his word he's telling you this he's commanded you this if you put his word in you in your mouth and you say it mutter it day and night you will be prosperous you will be successful Say if I do this, I, do this I, will I will be prosperous. I will be successful. I will be successful. If I don't do it, mm -hmm. then that's not for you. Are you here? Mm -hmm. Romans 10 17 says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by the word of God. By hearing it. Yep. How are you gonna hear it? you're gonna be saying it by the way you're gonna be muttering his word mm -hmm. say I'm going, I'm going to be muttering his word yes, and what will happen you will hear it and faith will come if faith comes by hearing the word there must be faith in the word itself mm -hmm. there is faith in the spoken word this is a fundamental belief that embedded in every word of God is the ability 
to bring itself to pass if you will say it if I do that he already said I'll be prosperous and I'll be successful will I be afraid speaking and believing the Word of God speaking it out your mouth and believing it yourself is a disruptive force it will bump you out of the fear based reality that everyone's been trying to frame for you to live in you get bumped out of it by the spoken word of God and they'll wonder why you aren't afraid you almost don't even have the capacity to be afraid anymore because you're living in a different reality I thought this was a good example Genesis Genesis chapter 26 and verse 1 and there was a famine in the land besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham and Isaac went to Abimelech king of the Philistines unto Gerar verse 2 and the Lord appeared unto him and said go not down into Egypt sojourn in this land and I will be with thee and I will bless thee now there was a famine in the land and what everyone used to do when there was a famine because you'd run out of food and you had to do something with your livestock they would all go down to Egypt mm. so everyone was moved with fear they weren't moved with faith they were moved with fear and they went down to where everybody else was and hung out with everybody else and what did God say to Isaac mm -hmm. don't do it don't be moved with fear mm -hmm. stay here I will be with you can you see that I'm trying to draw a correlation mm -hmm. with what we've been talking about he could have been moved with fear with everyone else with the news you know that was the news of the day everyone talked around the water cooler the same thing there's a famine what are we gonna do all the water's running out the crops are drying up the cattle and the goats they're thirsty you gotta do something that would have been their economy and so we go down to verse 12 then Isaac sowed in the land and received in the same year and hundredfold and the Lord blessed him and the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great mm -hmm. for he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and a great store of servants and the Philistines envied him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so Isaac sowed in the land he was not moved with fear he was moved with faith mm -hmm. in God's Word he was believing a different reality he was under the regime of faith and not the regime of fear mm -hmm. and he became great yeah. say he, he became, became great. great and the Philistines envied him mm -hmm. but in their eyes you are an oddity an outlier in order to protect their fear based narrative and they don't want to admit that your faith worked but they are dust on your scale their regime of fear doesn't apply to you God's word in your mouth supersedes it supersedes their regime of fear first John 5 4 this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith it overcomes the what the world the whole world so there's something in faith your faith which comes from God's Word being spoken that causes you to overcome be greater than the whole world system mm -hmm. this speaking and believing disrupts your world reality but if you continue in it 
it will disrupt theirs also when they all came back to where Isaac was mm -hmm. he'd taken over mm -hmm. you know what they were expecting to see when they came back to see Isaac him barely making it mm -hmm. dying of thirst in a tent somewhere mm -hmm. with all his flocks dead flies everywhere mm -hmm. no crops is that what they saw no no because the Lord God was with him and caused him to prosper yeah. God's word in your mouth day and night causes you to live in a different reality I wouldn't trade the ability to speak God's word out my mouth for anything it displaces fear just like you have a glass of water and you start putting some rocks into it you put enough rocks into it what happens mm -hmm. there's no more room for fear the Word of God spoken out your mouth displaces fear and if you stop filling it up mm -hmm. by listening to the sources of fear mm -hmm. you'll end up like me <laughs> until fear has no place say fear, fear. Has, no place. has no place fear not I wouldn't trade the ability to speak God's Word for anything but I am trading I'm trading the fear for the thing said I'm trading the sickness and flu viruses for this thing said by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body mm -hmm. I'm trading the financial ruin in the economy for God gives me power to get wealth God gives me power to get wealth is not affected by the dust of the scale that is the economy did it affect Isaac no. God prospered him regardless say God prospers me, God prospers me. Regardless. regardless we are not dependent on the drop of the bucket or the dust of the scale no oh, I'm afraid of the flu by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body mm -hmm. I'm afraid of economic collapse God gives me power to get wealth and he is no respecter of persons Amen. get that through your head mm -hmm. what does that mean and he'll do it for anyone who will get in line with this and speak his word my faith based reality is greater than your fear based reality most people including Christians are walking around in a fear-based reality that's been spoon-fed to them mm -hmm. my faith-based reality far far so far exceeds their fear-based reality are you getting this yes. we overcome the evil with good mm -hmm. we overcome the evil report with good a good report mm -hmm. so when you are tired of being afraid put God's Word in your mouth and all nations become drop of a bucket or dust on a scale Amen. Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people and the hearing of the word has caused faith to be in them and joy and peace like never before for great are the days coming for the people of God a great light shall shine upon them and they will be lifted up above all the circumstances and all the situations that the world is mired in there's also muck <laughs> we thank you Holy Ghost for it for delivering us and causing us to be this people in this day we worship you in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost.
I worship you all the nations are in your hand and the wealth of the nations belongs to you I belong to you and I walk with you in this greatness of wealth in this day it comes to me in Jesus name amen is in heaven Jesus at his right